My prediction for Bank M&A in 2021 is that things will be much stronger than in 2020. Obviously with the pandemic, things slowed down dramatically in the second half of 2020. And I think 2021 will be back up to 2019 levels, which would be a significant increase over 2020. The thing that's important to keep top of mind for bank boards going into 2021 is that there are many institutions out there that have raised capital through subordinated debt. And that was a big thing in 2020. And there's also a lot of institutions that have excess capital from retained earnings over the last several years. And if you're one of those institutions, it's important to look for the right acquisition opportunity. And it's also important to have a strong and trustworthy management team that's gonna lead your institution through the transition that comes following an acquisition. My advice for prospective buyers is to not just seek out opportunities, seek them out aggressively. History shows that banks that take a chance in a down economy or when things might not be completely normal, those are the banks that are gonna end up with strong growth and excess earnings down the road. So seek out those opportunities, take a chance, do your due diligence of course, but understand that your target might not look like it ordinarily does, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. My advice for sellers is prior to the pandemic, bank prices were at historical highs. And there are still buyers out there willing to pay good prices for strong banks. Understand though that the due diligence process is likely to be longer because those buyers are looking for more certainty than they would have two or three years ago. So after that process, you can still come out with a strong merger partner and a good sale price. Regulatory hurdles to growth in 2021 are going to depend very heavily on credit quality coming out of 2020. Those banks that have worked through underperforming loan portfolios in 2020 following the pandemic are being viewed much more favorably than banks that haven't come out clean on the other side. And those banks that have worked through those underperforming loan portfolios are gonna have the credibility and support of regulators as they execute on M&A opportunities in 2021.